This is a quick video about converting categorical data to dummy variables using the indicator function, as in the textbook example. So you can imagine there's some teaching evaluation responses and the possible values for this particular question are either disagree or agree or neutral. So these are ordered categories and that um, there's a clear ordering to them, but there's no number inherently associated with each one. So to model data like this econometrically, we usually turn it into uh, dummy variables by using the indicator function. For example, we can define a random variable w, where we take the indicator function of disagree. Now, if you remember, the indicator function evaluates to 1 if the part inside the curly braces is true, and otherwise it's 0. So, if we look at uh, when the response is disagree, then uh, disagree is true, so the indicator evaluates to 1, and w equals 1. When the response is neutral, that's not disagree, so the indicator function evaluates to 0, w is 0. Similarly, when the response is agree, the indicator function evaluates to 0, and w is 0. And we can do the same thing with the other categories. We can define x, again using the indicator function, but now for neutral. So now when the response is disagree, as in the first row, uh, the indicator function here evaluates to 0 because disagree is not neutral. So x will be 0 when the response is disagree. When the response is indeed neutral, then x is equal to 1, and when it's agree, uh, x will be equal to 0. And you can do the same thing for another uh, variable if we wanted a dummy for the agree category. And uh, this is helpful because now instead of having words like disagree and neutral and agree, we have numbers. And as a reminder, we can interpret, for example, the mean of random variable w as the probability that w equals 1, because w is a binary variable, uh, which is the same as the probability that the response is uh, disagree. So we can sort of translate it into numbers using the indicator function, but then when it's time to interpret our results of our econometric analysis, we can still interpret it in terms of the original response probabilities.